Yeah. Hey, welcome to another live stream of Bible. Wow. Bible Belt Brothers, <laughs> you, you got me. Biblical Chili, where the, our guest, um, Dusty from Bible Belt Brothers. <laughs> well, okay. Brothers. How white well, are you? The, the Bible Belt Brother. <laughs> it's they called bros. Bible. Bros. bros. Sorry. Yeah, the Bible Belt Bros. bros. Yeah. We'll call them our brothers. No, it's bruh. bros. <laughs> They're bros. from Oklahoma. It's bruh. 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 It's bruh. This show is on a freight train. <laughs> Before we get started, um, Wayne, do you want to lead us off with some prayer? I think we might need something to help us get grounded <laughs> here. Sure, let's go to prayer. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity we have to be together, to share. We encourage just pray that you would be with us as we uh, listen to the Bible bras um, share with us uh, their ministry. We are looking forward to that. Bless this time, Jesus. Amen. 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 So, uh, that's fifth, it. Fifth time resetting. Fifth time resetting. <laughs> Justin's having some uh, problems. Yes. Hopefully, he can join us soon. But, um, Way back when I was uh, learning how to get into this podcasting thing, I was doing a search while I was doing homework, and I'm like, what fun <laughs> Christian podcasts are out there? <laughs> <laughs> and but you, you came across Bible Belt Bros. Nice. And the first episode I heard was you had Eric Nevins on, on okay. as your guest. That's a good one. That's, that's a good one. You never know. <laughs> it's the only one. <laughs> well, that, that led us into CPA and getting yeah. hooked up with Eric, and mm -hmm. um, the, the rest is kind of history. We're here. But you have a really unique show. I, I like it. Um, I'm not really a sports guy, so mm -hmm. all your fantasy stuff kind of fell short with me. But Okay. <laughs> gotcha. In your own words, how would you uh, describe your own show? Well, okay, so our podcast started with it's just a friend and I. We've been best friends since high school. We're thirty five years old now, and um, it's really the only time we ever hang out. So uh, we just thought, well, let's start a podcast, and hopefully JC can hear us because then we know that's working. If not, then he's it's going to disappear. And so we. Uh, we started this podcast. We first, we had some uh, frustrations within organized church and how it's operating. And I was a youth pastor for a while and being in the back end of some of those conversations and stuff, you know, just got it. So we went through a book and we read Frank Viola's Pagan Christianity. And we just kind of started a podcast, just reading chapter one and talking about chapter one. And uh, then we decided after the book, if we're going to read more and we're like, heck no, I do not like reading. <laughs> so then we decided, well, what else can we talk about? And so we just talk about random stuff. It's our, the thought process is we're Christians. We can just hang out and have fun. It doesn't always have to be a serious time. And then sometimes we do talk about serious stuff. It's whatever. But I, I do want to say, regardless of my like maybe some of my opinions or beliefs are different like i do not believe that any of us you guys included are 100 percent right about everything that you're believing i don't believe i'm 100 percent right but i so i think it's important that we throw the different ideas out there like we have i have one with talking to my brother-in-law that's coming up if i ever get around to editing that's about the belief of uh did creation happen in seven days or did creation happen in 7,000 millions of years, you know, and, uh, was Genesis actually a, like, was Adam and Eve actually real or was it methodology where that's a way of teaching history? And so it's just different opinions, different thought processes. And I, I just believe that the, the denominations are separated by people thinking I'm a hundred percent right about everything. And, that's stupid. And right. if I offend you, that's fine. I'm a stupid guy from Oklahoma, an uneducated <laughs> guy from Oklahoma. So don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Let's move on. 
Move on. And we find it easier to talk about fantasy football than it is sometimes to talk about stuff. Right. About the Bible. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not a good thing. It just happens. And I speaking think we of, make fun you're, of you're, when we do that. So right. And speaking of your talks on other stuff, um, <laughs> this last podcast you just had, you talked a little bit about um, firearms. Yeah. You want to give a little like a synopsis for everybody about your uh, your, your episode there? Okay, so uh, my co-host Andrew, he was in the military. He's in the National Guard. Was overseas in Afghanistan. He's a total gun nut or whatever. Um, I'm kind of a girly guy, and uh, <laughs> I just, you know, not it. I like the Bachelor shows. I like all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I'm just, uh, I've never been into it. I've shot guns. I've gone on skeet shooting and stuff. I'm not a big hunter or anything like that, but. Um, I've just never been into it. And I think it was at the podcast where me, I, I felt like me not having a gun to protect my family was maybe a, uh, what's the word? Not responsible of me or something mm -hmm. like that. Like, like just with all of this stuff going on, defund the police, it just kind of got, got the, uh, the mind going like, how am I going to protect my family with a pocket knife? You know, like, I don't know, like maybe I should have something, you know? And so it's just trying to, I have a crossbow in my garage, so if I just be like, hold on, guys, wait. <laughs> Let's play, I love this thing. It's been a while, so that's basically what would have to happen. Right. And you have to knock those things right because uh, I found that there's that little string that if you don't have that, then it gets left or to the right, so you could, could, could get it loaded yeah. aim dead at the guy and um, completely so, miss because you yeah. shoot your wall. <laughs> You're not supposed to wake up in a dead sleep of somebody breaking into my house and like all of a sudden have this ninja skill. <laughs> you know, like that just... I, so I just felt like, you know, maybe I should look into purchasing a weapon of some sort, you know, to just for protection. I got a guy like I live in a country. So Andrew comes over and shoots his guns at my house all the time. So uh, he shoots them at your house. Yeah, I live in a country, so you can shoot guns. Oh, and, at, at your house, not either. Not in my house. Shoot, <laughs> shoot at your house. The wife not would not be house. okay with that. So uh, there's a guy <laughs> just a couple blocks away that shoots Tannerite, and just you hear like miss, 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 and then finally he hits it and explodes. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so there's guns all around me. I'm in Oklahoma, man. That's, right. Guns everywhere. Now I do have to say, uh, uh, congratulations! It's a huge milestone: fifty thousand downloads. Yeah, that's fantastic. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? How long have you been podcasting for? Uh, seriously, like two years. But we've been we started four years ago, something like that, four or five years ago. That's cool. What would you uh like sage wisdom from Oklahoma if you uh, were to tell somebody you know about starting their own podcast? What would your your wisdom be don't care about the downloads just really don't like we probably we i think there's an episode probably like 15 20 episodes in where we're celebrating 5000 and it's it's one of those snowball kind of effects where i can see by looking at the analytics that somebody finds us and then they start back at one and they work their way up and so um just just keep putting out the content and then what will happen was more people find you like i'll go on your show maybe one or two people from your show it will will continue to listen to more shows in the future and they'll start back at hopefully not one because those were pretty <laughs> terrible but right. you know they'll start they'll start and they'll catch up because people like to binge listen to podcasts and so um don't worry about the downloads we never did we always thought it was you know weird that people were listening to us anyways to be honest oklahoma is like the third most popular state that listens to us and that's where we're from so that means our friends don't even listen <laughs> so, <laughs> so we, we got some like people in Cal california and i think texas is the second most popular but oh cool um yeah it's just just don't care about the downloads mm -hmm. you're doing it for the fun and hanging out with friends so just do that mm -hmm. and if you decide to post them post them if you don't don't that's all. No, I was just saying friends. Yeah, or acquaintances, or people you just happen to work with. These are my boys. These are my boys. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, give us a little bit of your uh, your, your testimony. What what brought you to Christ? How long, how long you been a believer? Um. So my 
I, I was, uh, I'm lucky to be born. My mom was 16 when she got pregnant with me and was not a Christian. And, uh, so my stepdad had adopted me when I was nine and I was just in Sunday school one day and the lesson was about how Christ wants to adopt you and give you his name. I think it's Romans eight. And, and that just like resonated me because I had just gotten adopted. And so, Oh, God wants to do the same thing to me that my stepdad just did to me, like amazing, you know? And so, uh, that's, that's how I got saved. And then, uh, basically got some serious guidance when I was in eighth grade. I, I grew up in Iowa and then I moved to Missouri and, uh, started learning how to play guitar, started leading worship and getting really involved in church. Then I moved to Oklahoma to do a little, uh, uh, youth pastor stuff, you know, <laughs> that was supposed to be for the summer and ended up being eight years until oh wow, nice. somebody had a moral, moral failure and uh, kind of all went downhill from there. So, <laughs> so now I have a podcast and that's about it. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. Now I have a, a, a question about an old episode here for you. It, it I, I let my wife listen to it. It's one of your, uh, I think no. it's that one of your YouTube channel ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it was a uh, mm-hmm. um, Christian pickup lines. Okay. That's the good one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's one of those one. things you guys ask me like, Hey, what episode should we highlight? And I just kind of go down the list and was like, Ooh, not, uh, it, okay. <laughs> what, is there a good episode anywhere in here? That <laughs> didn't say something maybe controversial or non you know, especially when I'm in those like really serious Christian podcast groups and then they're really serious Christians and I'm like, I don't fit this <laughs> mold at all. <laughs> like, not that I, not that they're bad people or anything. I just, I definitely am not their cup of tea for sure. But anyways, okay. Christian pickup lines. Yeah. Christian, which, which of those was your favorite one? And I oh want to open gosh. it up to the guys here and, and do some some Christian pickup lines. I think it would be just something fun. <laughs> well, there was the uh, the one about uh, – <laughs> I have to point to the camera one. Yeah. Hey, girl. Uh, <laughs> I lead worship. That's basically <laughs> – that picks up any girl. <laughs> You know, I play guitar and lead worship. That's that is that work has worked for me for years. <laughs> so, um, chicks dig the guitar. Chicks dig the guitar, man. If you ever see a guy, there's always a guy at church camp with a guitar and like ten girls around him. So, just mm. that there's a reason for that. I thought of one. It's a really bad one, um, and it's revolving around the Bible. Hey, girl, I got a story for you. In the beginning. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, in Genesis, in the yeah. beginning, starting Got at the it. beginning. <laughs> Thomas, are you just cracking yourself up over here? I thought I was waiting for a am. line. <laughs> it's what I do. That's <laughs> what, what I do. These guys have to put up with it. Uh, <laughs> I thought of one. Your yeah. Sunday school class or Bible study. You grow here often. <laughs> what? Anyone? Come here. <laughs> Come again. What did you just say? Do you grow? Yeah. You know, you're at Sunday school. I get it. Growing, do you growing, do you grow yeah. here often? Oh my gosh, that was good. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess moving on then. <laughs> See, and, and and it's surprising with pickup lines like this that we're married. Yeah, I took, <laughs> I've been married twice. Okay, I'm probably okay, the best okay, person okay, here gotta... when it comes to marriage. I've been married married twice, so <laughs> I, I gotta stop you guys there. I, I gotta stop so you guys at. there. I I convinced my wife's mom I convinced that I was a good guy, my wife's and that's mom it. that I was a good guy, no and that's how I got in. No pickup lines. I mean, no, no, nothing that's like the that. hard route. I Come guess. on. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of yeah, sewing in the, the scene. Long I, I got long lucky. My, my wife purchased me on the internet. She uh, she, she, she she found me and uh, found out that she was working with my aunt. And so yeah, it was a, a mutual connection. 
So, <laughs> so you married a stalker. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> no, she married the stalker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. You're going to show up one day and there's going to be like you flip over a picture in your house and it's going to be like the map of you, like where you, know, where you are at all times. You're going to get scared. This is the sweet meat right here. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Where do we go from here? I guess we'll have to, 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 to switch lanes and hop into a different avenue here. Yeah. You have something, Sully? Yeah. So, did you end up buying the gun? Uh, I have not. I have I have some reservations, but it, it's, it's mentally, uh, mental health wise. I don't know if I trust myself. Fully, so I'm not even yeah. gonna give the devil a foothold, but I'm gonna get something better than the pocket knife. <laughs> so. Slingshots. Get, yeah, get slingshots. one of those stick things. You can flick it out like a, like a blade. <laughs> a baton. A baton. That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is like bottle rockets or something. I can just light. Them. We we got a comment. Uh, we we got a comment actually. from Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are killing me. <laughs> we love you, Ashley. <laughs> oh man! So there's a this nice little segment at the end, towards the end of our shows, where we flip it and try to talk about something a little more serious and uh, Bible chili esque ish. Okay. Um, and so th the thing I'd like to talk about is, um, for us Bible believers, what responsibility do we have when it comes to protecting others? And, and by protecting others, do you mean like our family or like people around us? And I said like yeah. twice, and that's not good. So it's it's like like it, it it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like totally, like totally. But it's but, uh, <clears throat> family or or those around you. Like if you are um, walking through an alley and you see something happening, like what is it our responsibility to? <laughs> so I am back starting this off. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say you're starting this off the dark, man. So my well, most alleys are. Out of the movie, and we're walking no, down. On. <laughs> you're walking down, you're walking down, down, down a back alley with a dull pocket. Or some kind of scalpel. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> they're just clams. <laughs> he just has some clams on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to know what my thoughts are? Yeah, what are your thoughts? And then we'll open it up to these guys and see what they think. Caller. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I, I mean, have you have you seen that video? And maybe it's not that funny. It's funny to me, but it's these two guys and they're singing, uh, "Try Jesus, but don't try me because I fight." You know, something like that. Have you seen that? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, it's funny to me, but that's, um. I mean, I think in in essence, there we must protect others. I mean, that's I feel like that's a noble thing to do. And uh, but noble. how much noble? Uh, how noble. much? <laughs> how far should you go? I I don't know. I you know, but obviously there's some aspects. But some people like Andrew, my co-host, he would he would you know take it too far in his response to protecting somebody. Oh, quick story. I don't know if this was on the podcast that we listened to or not. Uh, our house church, we were sitting in meeting. Um, and this, this goes with the topic. So our house church was sitting in meeting is myself and Andrew. And then a couple other guys and our pastor walks in and says, Andrew, and just come here. And so they went outside and I'm like, Oh crap. What did we do? We're all in trouble. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and then Andrew comes in and says, guys, I need you. And so we all get up and go outside. And apparently there was a domestic dispute that's happening. And our pastor was tagged on Facebook. And um, it, Oklahoma's laws are weird. Or maybe it's Tulsa's laws. I'm not sure. But if, if there's something inside the home, the police can't intervene. Like they can't. If there's a domestic abuse situation going on, they can't go inside the home. They have to wait till it comes outside. And her pastor told this crazy story of why, but um, so we brought it upon ourselves to go six guys in 
mostly carrying all of them carrying a weapon. I think I had some scissors <laughs> in the <laughs> ninja's back seat, but um, most of us carrying, you know, gunny weapons. And um, we were just going to roll up to this guy's house. And we did have the, uh, the police did come and they advised us. And then they saw that we were all rolling up on this house. So they were like, well, let's go with you. Okay. Hold on. They advised you like they gave you tips. Well, like, yes. Like, like basically they showed up and could, cause they couldn't intervene in the situation until that girl physically left the house. They couldn't intervene, but she was messaging from inside the house or something. And so, um, so they basic, but then they saw us and were like, well, let us go. We'll knock on the door and we'll see what's going on, you know? And so we ended up, we didn't get to do anything, but everybody was ready to shoot somebody. I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. And so, uh, uh, so maybe that's too far of an attitude when it comes to protecting people, but but uh, but we should protect people. I guess is the the thing that our pastor has taught us that in in the end we need to roll up with a group of six barely saved Christians and <laughs> and take some people out of some bad situations. Yeah. Barely saved. <laughs> now, I, I got hung up at the very beginning of the story. <laughs> um, what what is house church? Okay, so uh, some our our church we do believe in the Acts model of um, people meeting in homes to gather together, and that those people that you meet with are the closest to you, and then that's what you um, if you're going through a, if you're going through a difficult time, you know, a church of three hundred or five hundred or six hundred, they're not the pastor can't respond to everybody. But they do have a group of pocket of people like you guys, acquaintances for some of you apparently, but uh, that that will help and will help you move, will, will help you your, when your car breaks down. And so our church is kind of a, has focused on that um, where part of being a member of our church is that you are in a house church in a group of 10 to 12 people that meet weekly um, to talk about the sermon about, you know, and then we go through chapters of the Bible together and stuff like that. And then Sunday morning is more of an outreach, more of a get together kind of atmosphere than it is where we're, we're getting our teaching and stuff from house church. If that makes sense. Where Sunday morning is not as focused. If you miss Sunday, we, they would rather you miss Sunday morning than miss house church. If that's the, the idea of it. So that's okay. What we do. That's 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 really cool. I, I like that. Our uh, some churches, our churches do it like at small groups. You know, it's basically Sunday school moved into homes is kind of the idea. But mm -hmm. a church that's heavily focused on their Sunday school ministry. Sunday school. <laughs> so nice. <clears throat> There's something that uh, uh, your your co-host there said in the in your podcast. He he quoted a, a scripture of. Uh, going to sell your coat to get a sword. I know this one. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Sully. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know. Well, what it says, well, is, what it says that is the you, fact that you, those do, that do not have arms, will actually sell their own cloak to actually go buy them a sword. Now we, we we talked about this. Justin and I were talk, we're at work and we're talking about it. And um, Justin had a really cool insight, and I want to uh, follow his insight up with uh, something that popped in my head. It, Justin, what was what were they talking about in that passage? Uh, in that passage, it was talking about you know it was around the time when Jesus was like, oh hey, I'm going to send out you know all these disciples and the the core twelve, and they were going out and about. And, uh, during that, that time or that, that when Jesus was doing that, uh, he was telling these people that were going to go out traveling and basically pave the way for the Messiah. Uh, he told them, well, Hey, listen, basically he was saying, <clears throat> you know, if you've got two coats, go ahead and sell one and buy a sword. And then one guy pipes up and goes, Hey, well, I got two swords. And <laughs> Jesus goes, okay, well, one is enough. It's fine. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> the 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 context of it was specifically he was talking about uh the disciples and not the 12 i mean the disciples as in all of the disciples jesus sent out and he was saying oh hey 
by the way, when you guys are out and about, make sure that you're, you at least got something more than a pocket knife or a pair of scissors. You have a, you have a sword in your hand, um, to, I would assume to protect themselves. So, but I'm, I'm just saying context why he was, he was talking about the, uh, the disciples going out and doing what they were going to do. But people like to, to, on the other side, go more by the verse of support. Jesus. When, oh. when Peter, was it Peter that chopped off a dude's ear? trying to protect Jesus and Jesus is like, don't do that. And healed the ear. People like to kind of use that verse as a reason of not to fight, which I don't think is right, but I'm just saying. Oh, I, I looked into that. I thought it was pretty interesting because he said, those that live by the sword die by it. And so basically if you are living to fight, then that's the way you're going to go down. It's the whole perception of how you're using it. If you have it just as defense or you, you know, being blinking from, uh, Robin Hood men in tights and just whacking at whatever moves, <laughs> you know, um, you're going to uh, assault the wrong person and they're going to come after you. So if you're going to live by that way of living, then that's how you're going to die. That's how you'll be remembered. Um, he also taught, Jesus taught, told them to uh, uh, love your neighbors as yourself. And so when you, you brought up earlier, are we talking about your family or everybody in your area? So it's like um, your, your neighbors would be, your friends, your family, the person that lives next door to you or whoever's in your vicinity that um, you, you have to treat that way. Um, what was that verse that, that they used in, um, in the Old Testament? I think that it was in Moses' time about uh, when they're make, making the law that if someone broke in and you um, killed them then, then it was okay. But if you didn't catch them that night, then the next day they were sold. What was that verse? I'm, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> Is that the stand your ground law in Florida? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the verse you guys used in that show. Oh, well, that's Andrew. Andrew is all Andrew, yeah. <laughs> That's right. He was the one. That's He's it, the one yeah. that said, "Why are you talking about this subject you know nothing about?" <laughs> so, <laughs> no, come on over. <laughs> yeah. So he's, he's watching. Uh, <laughs> wow, we just had something interesting happen right here. <laughs> All right, some, there's a stalker somewhere. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, tell us a little bit about your uh, your YouTube channel you got there. Yeah, going on. Well, it's, it's more like there's some things that we want to do that doesn't come off great in audio form. Yeah. Um, and so we thought, hey, we just, we, we actually met, Andrew and I met in a media class where we made videos and we just did stupid stuff. So we thought to add to the friendship, let's do that. And so, of course, one of our most popular videos is Dusty Does Manly Things because Andrew needs to teach me how to do manly things like use a table saw. Or what was the most manly manly thing you've learned to do so far in that? Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Just like I am with editing podcasts, editing YouTube videos is even harder. <laughs> so, uh, which is part of my job. I edit YouTube videos for companies right now, and so it's it just gets to be a long day of editing to do your next thing. So right now, the only thing we've done so far is um, me using a planer and trying to build a box, but then. Um, we also we we want to do a series of him training me how to shoot a gun, okay? Like, professionally, wow. I guess. Like, I so that. we'll start with like BB guns and work my way up to the real one. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like water pistols, <laughs> water pistols, <laughs> you know, laser tag. You know, laser you tag. shoot your eye out, kid. You shoot so, your eye out, kid. <laughs> we, thought, we thought it could be fun to do like a series of that, and that's what kind of started it. And we never actually filmed that one. We just kind of. And then, there, I mean, there's some things that ideally a video podcast would be the way to be the next step for your podcast because video and audio are both being searched at the same time. So gotcha. you might as well hit avenues of both. And I work in a marketing company that does websites and SEO. And so I, I, I it's hard to, it's hard to, um, organically grow a podcast through search where YouTube is owned by Google. So there's, there's more tools out there to help you organically without paid ads 
grow your YouTube. Like the biggest way to grow podcasts is by going on other people's podcasts. <laughs> it's really the biggest way. Um, networking with people and, you know, having going on somebody's podcast and maybe two people come back and listen to yours later. And you do that enough times, you get to 50K. <laughs> so, well, like, I'm just say, we're on our way. Wait, 50, 50, 000. 000. There you go. <laughs> Like and I, like I tell you, it took about two years before we saw any growth, and so just keep going. That's why I say don't worry about the download; just yeah, keep going. Mm-hmm. Um, but so YouTube was just another. It's fun. It's you could do different things with YouTube. Like we, I want to do Bible trivia, but if we get it wrong, I have my dog shock collar thing, and we'll shock yeah. ourselves. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, there's a, another podcast that revi- revived thoughts. They had us on their show on their Bible trivia, and we were really yeah, we are a glutton for punishment. Bad. <laughs> it wasn't Bible trivia. The, it was um, it, it was church history, church history trivia. The worst. It's that like, is not Bible trivia. It's like it, religious, all, right? Isn't that part of the problem? Is churches more care about their history than the history of the Bible? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh wait, that, okay. That one needed a sign effect. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> Great, <laughs> Tom. That's our next investment. Yes. <laughs> do you, Do you guys have any have any questions for Dusty here? Do you guys have anything to? questions maybe more of a a comment yeah it's this whole gun thing back to the gun thing i i'm struggling with that myself i really want to buy one (laughs) you know yeah but it's one of those things where you're like okay i'm i'm all about protection but but am i when the when the time comes am i going to be able to use that thing that's that's the thing you know am i going to be able to use that I mean, I'm all about protecting my kids. I mean, I always tell them, you know, I'll throw myself in front of a bus for you, you know, and I'm always looking for those scenarios where I can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look, a greyhound. Here, here comes a greyhound. <laughs> Step back, everybody. But but that's that's a quandary. I mean, for a Christian man, and I'm sure Sully's about to come out of his skin to talk about this a little bit. But, but can I do it? Yeah, probably can do it. But I don't trust myself so much. It's not a mental health thing. Well, with anything, um, you need you need training, right? Yes, you, absolutely. you would have to continue training to, to be able to do it properly. Yeah. So you but don't it's the anybody. language. It's the language that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? I watch too many cop shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to start cussing if you're going to. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> cussing him. You buy the right, John, the cussing comes it. with it. Right, right, right. And the donuts, you know, it's just it's a whole health thing. <laughs> the bigger the gun, the bigger the words. <laughs> Sully, I'm sure you have a comment. Oh, I have quite a few. <laughs> well, first off, we support the blue, okay? Uh, At least I do. Amen. I amen. do not discriminate against any law enforcement. <laughs> they are doing a wonderful job. Thank you for your service. <laughs> you. And then second off, okay, doesn't the Bible state the fact that if the greatest gift is to lay your life down for your fellow man? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So that's one thing that I look I look at and go, yeah, that's what I would do. And I've been trained EMS. I've been fighting since I was little. I've been jumped three times. I've grew up in the city, so I know the fact that it's a rough world. And I believe in carrying a weapon. I believe in the fact that you should defend your friends and your family because some of them, like Dustin, won't be able to do it. So you need to have the friend that would help them out. Okay. I definitely would call my friends and then call 911. That's that's yeah. the, the order that's going to happen. You know what? It's okay. Somebody else needs to carry the phone and the medical bag because that <laughs> stuff gets heavy. Okay? Uh, trust and bring me, waters if it's, it's, it's huge. Longer. It's heavy. You know, I'll give that to you. You call them, and then I'll take care of everything else. It's perfectly mm. fine with me. 
But shooting is also just an expensive hobby. That that's the yeah. other side yeah. of it. Is it is expensive. Hmm. I maybe roughly five, maybe six hundred every couple months. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you could buy the mixer in a couple months. Just buy this mixer. Play the music. Well, Play the music. Well, well, let's not go that far, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it, it, admittedly, I have taken actually gun safety and so forth. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I don't own any guns, but I, I would, I would, I'd love shooting. I absolutely do. Uh, going my, Sunday. Let's go. I, I got in so much trouble when I was a kid. I had a twenty-two rifle, and oh, oh man, yeah, I was halfway across my yard. And my mom came home to every single clothesline busted because I found out I could shoot a clothesline from I don't know how many yards away <laughs> with a 22 rifle. So my brother and I were just. <laughs> yeah. Good old days. You, you technically, I seen your weapon out in the garage now that you're vegetarian. Your lawnmower is the equivalent to a gun for you to go out and kill your food. <laughs> Now, I will say Andrew wants me to get my concealed carry just so I can be on the security team at church. That is probably something I'll end up doing, but I want that too. After COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> everything's after COVID. Everything's after COVID. <laughs> Look at the size of the gun he just came into church with. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. You don't know. You don't. Understand. We're in Oklahoma. Like half the people are probably carrying. So. Yeah. I'm sure. he'll, he'll walk into church with a handgun from Joker from the original Batman. And 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 to be honest, it doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. You're carrying here in Oklahoma. Like it's that's not the the debate so issue. Kind of Democrat. Yeah, I, I used to be stationed in uh, Dallas, Texas, and I, I tell you what, it was a, a wake up call for me. Went going through Dallas, uh, the city, and and going to Walmart or going to a bank, and I, it's no, it's no joke, man. Some guy, what you hear, ching, 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 behind you as the guy's walking with spurs, and there's a security guard at the door, and he's like, check the guy's gun to see if it's loaded or unloaded. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and walks in with you, like, the howdy partner, right? <laughs> I'm waiting for it. That's what I'm waiting for. Actually, do that. Yeah. I, I yeah, I heard. <laughs> now they know where we're at. Oh, hi. Oh. Yeah. Now they know where we're at. Oh, <laughs> hey, you guys are in Ohio, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so that's where are. all the I was looking at my analytics and like that's where all the Ohio like Ohio just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <"Where's that?" laughs> <laughs> Who the heck was not from Ohio? <laughs> yeah. No, that's a cuss word. <laughs> Ohio. <The Buckeye? laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a surprised Buckeye fan so right now. Hmm. So, so what's next for your podcast? Uh, what's next? Uh, yeah, what's next? Uh, my wife is going to make me edit more, so she's going to put me on a schedule. Which, and uh, I, got, I got three of them in the pocket, so <laughs> that's next. And probably it's just more YouTube, trying to do nice. more video side of it. I think that's that's enough goals for now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then maybe next year I'll sign a contract with Joe Rogan and you know, get a hundred hundred million dollars and all that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> shoot bait, shoot bait. One fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, do you guys have anything else for Dusty? I gotta say, this has been a blast. Kicking me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 we're kicking oh, you. We can talk like this here. all night long. Talk about you, not to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to come up with a serious question. Yeah. <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, you haven't I asked my podcast enough. It's a serious question. <laughs> well, how, do you, hey, how do you like those Marco Polos? I mean, do you He's do you do that? that? You're not part of that? Oh, man. The what? 
What's a Marco Polo? <laughs> You've never heard of Marco Polo? That uh, the swimming pool game? <laughs> social media. It's social media, man. Uh, no. Polo. I don't no, know what no. Marco Polo is. Man. I'm getting Marco Polo He's too in far the middle the of the night when I'm supposed to be sleeping. Bing, bing, bing. These Christian podcasters, man, they're active. <laughs> well the trick is to schedule those you know but yeah. i i tend to not engage much in the comments of things i guess yeah. um because yeah if you end up you comment in, on one thing and then you're constantly getting notifications so i just yeah, yeah. stay out of if it. you're ever interested in marco polo hit me up and i'll i'll i'll, I'll no. hook you up, uh, <laughs> yeah, he me up. It, it actually I'm sounds parallel so, it's not bad. I think that no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but now, uh, I would just say, how long have you guys been podcasting? Um, just a year. We're getting ready to Aww. celebrate this weekend our That's first year. Okay. Better just a baby. How many? <laughs> let's, let's say how many episodes have you done in year one? Fifty-two. So you like you're about to how many episodes I have total. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we've, wow. been, <laughs> we've been doing one, one a week. Yeah, so like we did really good, and then we took like six months off, and then we started again, and then it's on and off, you know, like a high school relationship, basically. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so well, how many do I have? He is your high school sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> we played the newlywed game, and we've beaten many couples. So, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> We're, uh, no. I don't know. I can't tell how many I have. Statistics overview. Bam. If, uh, I, I got a question. What, yeah. When? When? Or where? I should say. Where do you guys get like your your? I don't know. Like you guys don't have the same uh, format that we do. We actually come up with like like these questions <laughs> and like have a lasered focus. And you yeah. guys are really organic with like your conversation. And so like, where do you come up with the topics, or is it just like a it is literally sometimes Andrew doesn't even tell me like purposely. So <laughs> like the, um, <laughs> okay. Tom okay, is Tom our, is our play, play the music. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, we had, what was one, uh, or our pastor preached a sermon that was Bible belt approved. We had, we did that sermon, but he didn't tell me about what he wanted to talk. Cause he wanted to get my natural reaction. And that's part of it. And so I think we just have good banter. Oh, oh that's an English word. We we have good uh I don't know. We've been friends for so long, it's just natural. I think it just but we don't really have a structure. We usually say this is a topic, this is a topic, this is a topic, and then we'll roll it until it happens. Sometimes that means lots of editing because I gotta edit some stuff out. And then sometimes it's uh <laughs> just like uh, who cares? I said it. So somebody else probably believes it too, you know? The, so that's what we've been doing wrong. We've cared about what happens to our episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep it organic. Keep it natural, guys. Just keep it natural. Like, because really, honestly, if you believe something, and even if you're wrong, somebody else thinks the same way. And so, like, it's one of those things, like, I'm okay letting people – know how wrong i am in situations and because i'm wrong about a lot of things and so uh, how many times have you listened back to your stuff and it was like why didn't he stop me from saying that <laughs> oh oh there's plenty like we've we had a conversation yesterday i think where like our view of tithing has somewhat changed since we started and we have conversations on tithing and then we've kind of change that a little bit as we've grown and, and actually you know looked into it more you know and so i'm not going to delete those episodes and pretend like it didn't happen which is you know what some people might do but <laughs> i'll get canceled at some point cancel culture will catch up with me <laughs> you know, like jokes on you i'll be saving money by canceling this podcast so <laughs> 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 be buying all these toys and paying for hosting anymore. <laughs> no, that's funny. But uh, I don't know. It's 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 been. We don't. We've never. The most podcasts I listen to are kind of murder podcasts. So if you need to get away with murder, just look me up. I, <laughs> yeah, I pretty no much know how to not get. I have a daughter that listens to that, that stuff. <laughs> that stuff. And. Uh, 
so our format just naturally happened. I, and it's usually we, we one or two, we noticed the shorter we got, the more listens we get. So we, f- I feel like we're maybe like a, a driving to work type of listen. And so I try to keep it to 20 to 30 minutes because one, double the downloads, baby. Cause you, you know, <laughs> and two, <laughs> Uh, I think it's just easier. It's not as daunting to, you know, sometimes for me, it's daunting to listen to an hour podcast, you know, because I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get through it, but if it's 15 or 20 minutes, yeah, I'll listen to those. That's, that's the YouTube strategy is 15, 20 minutes at the most, you know? And so that's, that's kind of what we've noticed for us. Everybody's different, but yeah, you guys let's, let's, you know, um, be a, an addict with the whole like social media thing and, and, you know, prescribe other people to the fact that our attention spans are waning. So. (laughs) Okay then Dustin. (laughs) So now that that I actually see how long your episodes are and everything else, how many episodes have you watched of ours? Uh, I have not watch a full episode. I'll say that I've caught you live from time to time. And that's what like live's a good strategy because it naturally shares to all your friends, whether they want it or not. <laughs> so, yes. so uh, yeah. I mean, I've, you guys have popped up on my feed and I've hopped on a few times and, and you can usually see me because I'll get like a high dusty or something I'm like oh, creeper, but <laughs> <laughs> it's probably Tom, right? Yeah, it's probably Tom. He's like, "Hey, what's going on? Hey, where is? It's my best friend, Dusty." All right, Ohio is only one percent, one point seven percent of our listeners. So, come on, guys. He's from Ohio. I think we dusted him off. Oh, I don't know where you're from. Where are you from? I don't know where I'm from either. Michigan. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's probably worse. Let's go down here. Yeah. To, um, oh Michigan. So that was the Ohio State joke. I get it now. I'm still a Hawkeyes fan, so just know that. All right, Michigan's 3%. Working on going on up. All right, 3%. The music. Hmm. I've been a subscriber for a while. I'm just saying. Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, for some reason, it's pretty high other places besides my friends. So, yeah. But for a while, I, 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 th- I thought it was listening to myself on the podcast, you know, because why not? And then, uh, what else? My mom, my wife was nice and listened to it a few times. <laughs> you have to be careful because if you say something about your wife on your podcast, you're. Could be bad mm-hmm. for you. <laughs> you, you see, say I think that's uh, that's interesting. They're not about the wife, but you said you, you, it was you <laughs> listening to yourself. Um, yeah. There's Tim from the CPA, Tim, Tim Winters. Mm-hmm. He said that every Monday, that's the first thing he does is he pops on their podcast and listens to it. I well, don't think I've listened to one of ours since we launched it. <laughs> well, it helps you kind of judge yourself a little bit or critique yourself a little bit like i do it to critique myself plus it gives you a download it starts the the start that train wait 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 oh, hold so- on aren't you the editor <laughs> oh yes yeah but you know like i edit it but i i mean it's still like i'm editing i'm not like trying to listen to this complete show i guess i'm just taking out the pauses i'm doing and- it wrong then guys <laughs> <laughs> that's why we do this but, uh, come on. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I just like listening to myself. Maybe I just like listening to myself. Maybe I sound really good, guys. Maybe this podcast is just amazing. And it, you know, people listen, listen to it multiple times. Who knows? Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Too funny. So I'm interested to see, like, does this, uh, this go to 4% next month? Let's see. Mm. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> Man, you'll, you'll have me, though. You'll have me. <laughs> I got one. Got a winner. <laughs> You're growing. You're growing. <laughs> you grow here often? <laughs> That's right. You grow here often? Come Call on. Back. You can- Call back. <laughs> I'm a great comedy right there. Yeah. That's right. You're going to have to charge for that. What were some of the... 
what were some, what of, were the some of the other ones? Like seriously, you guys are talking about these these pickup lines. I've never I've never had pickup lines. Oh, so like I don't I like you guys are all talking about these Christian pickup lines. Like, what do you? I don't have a one. I got another one. Good one. Oh, oh no! I do have a COVID one. I thought it was good. You know why? The fact that I don't like masks because it is stopping my pursuit of happiness to see your beautiful face. That's wow. too like real. <laughs> like uh, Andrew said said uh, one to me on one of our YouTube videos. He said, "If COVID doesn't take you out, can I?" The longer oh COVID lasts, the uh, worse that joke actually gets. Because <laughs> that was at the beginning. <laughs> Maybe it <was> chills. <laughs> uh, one was uh, just if you're sitting in a group of people at church camp, just like, man, I just I don't believe in celibacy. You, know, <laughs> you don't believe in what? Celibacy. Oh, we'll explain that to you later. <laughs> <laughs> I got half of it. I was reading the other comment, okay, you guys? Uh, oh, we got comments? Oh, we we awesome. got one. Good one. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, hold on. All right, I got some. I got some. Is your name Grace? Because you're amazing. <laughs> oh, amazing Grace. <laughs> you didn't come up with that. Somebody posted that. Yes, no, it did. It wasn't me. <laughs> uh if I walked the- around you seven times, would you fall for me? Oh, Ooh, I like that one. You looked that up. Didn't yes, you? he did. <laughs> oh my Your God. hair. Oh, okay. This one. See if any of you are going to get this one. Come on. Come on. Your hair is like a flock of goats descending from Gilead. Well, and, the, and oh, then if you do get the girl, you know how much into the Bible she is because that's pretty deep into the Bible. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, just so everybody understands, what book was that from? Uh, Anybody? Five five points. Points. From Gilead? No, okay, no, let, no, me let me read it again. again. Your hair Your is hair like is a flock like of goats, goats descending from Gilead. From Gilead. That, that sounds like something that David would say while he was a shepherd oh. <laughs> in Psalms. <laughs> no, it's Song of Solomon. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. That was the ultimate pickup line, you know, 3,000 years ago. There's a lot of good ones in there. Well, probably them. like. Would you like to have a Bible study with with me about Songs of Solomon? Would be a good pickup line. Studying <laughs> Songs of Solomon. Are you familiar with that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We are on the crazy train. <laughs> okay, I got one. <laughs> off the rip. Yes, we are. I love this one. Hey, girl. You know what Temple Vale and I have in common? We're both ripped. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> okay, Tom, you're right. We gotta do an episode. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> I think the program is officially changed. <laughs> All right, I'm blocking out. Oh, funny. <sighs> Dusty, I blame you. Yep, it's my fault. <laughs> I'll, I don't have the buttons memorized, so I just go with whatever one I actually hit. <laughs> that would be my favorite. I meant for the color up. <laughs> wow. So we're approaching our hour. I think we are going to have to wrap this up. Um, we'll You're wrap muted. this up in uh, biblical chili fashion. This has been Tom. This is Wayne. This has been Sully. This is Justin. And this is Dusty with the Bible Belt Bros Podcast. What's that? Uh, <laughs> anywhere, Spotify with Joe Rogan, or Apple Podcast, or uh, anywhere really. And do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook? Uh, we we are on Facebook, Bible Belt Bros, I guess, and Instagram. Don't expect any posting, but it's no there. Posting, no comments. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have a website oh we don't there's like just the default one that comes with podbean it's like podbean.com slash bible belt bros okay yeah uh, you think thank you again a website company we would make a website but nah. <laughs> hey don't 
don't feel bad. I'm a graphic designer and I am only like 50% of the way through our website. So <laughs> it's like, it's, you just don't want to do it on your own time. You do it all day. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Check out Bible Bell Bros. See you guys next Thursday and you guys have a great day, a great week.